105 million pounds is the fee that was agreed between Arsenal and West Ham United. That move hasn't been uh, concluded because the two sides haven't agreed on the payment structure. So they agreed that it's 105 million pounds. But how is it going to be paid? Mm -hmm. Now that's the stand, uh, that's the sticking point for the two sides. Otherwise, Declan Rice should be an Arsenal player. And from what I picked from your statement before we went, good thing is that um, they don't have many options. Mm. Oh, the, the, uh, Declan Rice does not have many suitors. Mm. And even if he had... But I initially think, there was City, only that City refused to, to pay £100 million. Pounds. Yeah, and uh, you wouldn't really blame them. Mm. Like uh, you were describing Mason Mount. Mm. Declan Rice can be a difficult player to analyse. Mm. He does the basics very, very well. Mm. And actually, actually um, I think last week I was reading a report mm. where I think they had some interesting stats about his game. Mm. I think he had the most, no, no thing, he had the most interceptions mm. in the league mm. last season. Mm. And also, and he intercepted the most passes mm. last season. But also, I think helped them break down play. Mm. Um, um, also, I was the player who helped, um, um, who had um, most interceptions as well as um, I think it should have been initiating attacks, mm. something like that. Mm. So in terms of stats in that area, mm. I think is um, it's, it's quite good. Mm. Maybe it's not pleasing uh, to the eye, mm. and maybe there are other players that do it. But um, for me, the Rice does it very very well. But apart from that, mm. um, he does not add much. Mm. And when you're going to start describing these players. And uh, you have to throw around stats, maybe, or you find it difficult to use the right adjectives. Then there is always a bit of an issue for me. Mm. But um, yes, maybe it would be a good addition. Mm. He's more mobile, more athletic mm. than maybe say Thomas Pate. Mm. Uh, he's uh, pretty comfortable on the ball as well. Mm. He might not exactly be the best passer mm. of it, mm. but um, he has a bit of everything about his game, and also will add some bit of physicality. Mm to that Arsenal side, mm. especially with um, information rife that uh, especially Granit Xhaka mm. looks to be on the way out. I don't know why it's taken a lot of um, taken some time mm. without uh, that move of Granit Xhaka being confirmed mm. because we've had the news as early as uh, as early as May when the season had just been completed. So for Xhaka to still be around mm. uh, for us when you're in July, mm. um, you, you should have expected both parties. Mm. Uh, to complete this transfer mm. a lot faster mm. than, uh, than it has. And also there's also been the rumors about Thomas Partey mm. uh, being moved on. Uh, so interesting time that I say, no, the know obviously still remains mm. at the club, but um, for me, 105 million pounds mm. is a bit on the high side, mm. um, uh, say in terms of ability, because I think they do not differ too much in terms of positions, say with uh, Jude Bellingham, maybe Jude Bellingham plays further up front, mm. or has that ability to play further up front. Mm. But if he's going for uh, about 10, 15, 20 million pounds less than Declan Rice. Mm. I see rather West Ham should have even picked that money and run <laughs> a lot earlier <laughs> than um, taking these clubs around, um, taking them in circles mm. and uh, in regard to the payment structure. Mm. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, as no, we need to find out who sanctioned yeah. the 102 million yeah. for Declan Rice, yeah. but he's a good player. Uh -huh. um, and then the other thing... What about Ma Mount? Mason Mount. Mm. Ma now, Mason Mount, mm. um, I don't know who started the talk of getting him to United. Mm. <laughs> but now that he's already there, mm -hmm. you just have to pick on his positives. Mm. Uh, I think I think he is more proactive. He's not, he doesn't dominate the ball, mm. but he knows how to appear in uh, positions where he can hurt you. Mm. Uh, but I was shocked, I was surprised by mm. the interest. Actually, it seems like a mini Frank Lampard, but a mini Frank considering Lampard, that um, mm. Andrew, like m me, mm. uh, before him, mm. both of us are struggling to find mm. the right adjectives to describe these two players, Declan Rice mm. and Mason Mount. Okay. But anyway, the clubs have them and... Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> actually, Rice mm. could have been a better signing for United, mm. especially coming yeah. in for Casemiro. Casemiro, you know, mm. is aging, age and all. Mm. Uh, could have been a better signing for United. Mm. Uh, perhaps uh, Ten Hag believes Casemiro still has the energy, mm. or maybe you're saying, but again, I'm not sure who's sending the and players at United. Sent off. They, they, they're struggling to know who owns them, mm. so I don't know who's sending the players as well. Uh, but Patrick, I know you're closing the show. Mm. The main reason I'm here uh -huh. is uh, I've just run for Tattoo Club.